Hello, right, so this video is to help you with revision. So if you are logged into MassWatch, you can select videos. If your key stays free, that's perfect. If you want to extend your learning, you can hit the GCSE button and those questions will be slightly more challenging. Make sure to have all here and the topic all. So for example, if you want to find solving equations and if you, even if you just type in equations, you can see it comes up and you can click any one of these and for year eight right now, you would only need to know the first four. The first three is sort of essential. The fourth one is for really the top sets, but give it a go if you can do it. Unfortunately, I haven't had time to cover it. So if you click this, there's a video to help explain because you could do this in class, but sometimes the first thing I've been asked to do is to That's form normal. an equation. That's forming an equation. We don't have to do that right now, but let's go to solving basic. If I want to write this algebraically, and x can be, and 7 add 2 is 9. So the answer is x equals 9 to and the original equation. So I've got two sixes, that's 12, divided. You can see you can have multiple examples and practice questions and different methods. And many of you are so good at doing this, and it's okay if you forgot. So that's why recapping is important. Now with brackets, we did some of that today. By two. So that gives me, I can divide both sides by two. So you can expand brackets and you can do it another two way. To give me x equals five. The other way of doing it is to remember that this means two multiplied by everything in the bracket. So I can start by dividing. And this way might be easier for a lot of you. And for now, I think I've been trying to challenge you too much so that I can build you onto uh, more challenging questions. But I'm happy if you can do the, the, it this way that they're gonna show in a bit. Both sides by two to give me x plus three equals eight. Now and doing that method is perfectly fine. So that was equations. So remember we did some nth term work, so we can type in nth term. And you've got sequences finding the nth term. Click that and you can press play. To go and add on plus one. So that's a bit more difficult. And the rule, so you've got, if you type in rule, you've got a term to term rule, position to term rule to increase your understanding. And these are the basic skills. Now, remember these interactive questions up here. This is really good. So you can practice your skills and get a lot stronger on any of the topics you choose. There's interactive questions on any topic. And so let's go to, we did some expanding and factorizing. So you press expanding. And can you see you've got interactive questions? So let's see, let's do question three here. So seven times two X is 14 X. Seven times minus three is minus 21. Submit answer. And it tells you if you're correct. And there's harder questions here. So there's plenty you can do independently. If you let me know that you've done lots of extra independent work, that's how you get an excellent in your reports. And um, it's fine if your parents just sign in your book that yes, you have definitely done lots of independent work and that's how you get an excellent. Um, hard work does pay off. And I hope that explains to you how to use MassWatch and how you can use it to advise.